Hey everyone, Victor here. So today we're going to make a quick video on installing Mapbox into Expo. Uh, I had a few problems uh, and continue to <laughs> always have problems with a few things to do with Expo. There's always little caveats and little things you got to learn, but hopefully this will just help smooth out the installation of Mapbox. So this wasn't integrated for a very long time, but ever since April, it's now been integrated into the EAS builds. And if you haven't done those before with Expo, we're going to walk through it. But obviously, if you're using this, you know Expo really makes the building process and development process a ton easier. Uh, and I used to have to eject, I've ejected in many projects in order to use Mapbox. And not having to do that is worth a bit of the pain of getting all the installation working, which really isn't so bad once you understand it. So hopefully this will help out. So first thing we're going to do is start up a new Expo project. So Expo init Mapster test our and test map box there we go and we'll just make a blank one and we'll see let that install while that's all installing we're just going to take a quick look at the documentation so this is the actual repo that will be used here they reference the old repository for mapbox uh, react native mapbox but react native mapbox is now at rn mapbox so that's the one we actually want and down here we find the little bit of documentation. We have to install um, the latest release. We'll have to add some code to our app.json. And specifically, we are going to use Mapbox. The Map Libre one is probably a little simpler since you don't need to worry about this download token. But I think in most cases, if you're doing the work to use Map Libre, there's a good chance you're actually going to be using Mapbox anyway. For instance, I have a client who has special styles on Mapbox that we need to load. So we need to make sure we're actually using the Mapbox one. Okay, so we're all installed here. So we're going to pop that open and take a look at our app JSON. Okay, great. So first thing we're going to do is just what it says, expo install rn Mapbox. Oh, we need to actually get into the um, folder here and let's try that again. So, right, we're installed. Now we're going to copy in some of this plugin stuff that they say to copy in. And that's going to go just at the bottom of our app.json. And we need to replace this with our own download token. Now, I didn't know what this meant at first, but I have now done it a couple times. So I'll just show you it again here. So uh, React Native Test token. And what you really need, you can probably get rid of all of these. And you really just need the downloads read permission, which, as you can see, if I hover over it, read and download downloads via the downloads API. <laughs> so this will let you basically, like when it's building with Expo, it'll actually allow it to download Mapbox itself into the Expo project. So we'll copy that token, drop it in there. Okay. And we are now good to go. So that's good. That's all installed. Let's go back to our, um, instructions see if there's anything else doesn't look like there's anything else so now we'll just go back to the actual how do we actually add this into the code so that when we're done building it'll just be there so we need to make sure we import the library so let's make sure we do that we go to app.js import the library and grab a normal public token for the actual map itself you could you could also use your secret one or you could set it up in an env file whatever you want and then we're going to grab this stuff to make the map view. And I'm going to change this to map container just to keep it separate from the default container that's already there. Map container. Okay, so there we go. That's all there. It will just have a default streets style, but this should all be present. Now we have the whole EAS thing. So if you've never set up EAS, it can be a little bit of a chore. There's a couple steps. You have to set up EAS build. You also have to make sure your devices are added. So that's really important. Um, make sure that you set up all that stuff. I've run into problems with my devices not being fully added with iOS and stuff like that. So if you need any help with that, just do a bit of Googling for EAS devices, EAS build expo, and they do have pretty good docs. So all we need to do here is we have to go EAS build configure, and that will set up our very basic stuff. We are going to build it for iOS and Android, although we're going to do it separately. And we can see after we did that, that EAS JSON is now present. 
Okay, great. So now we should be able to do EAS build dash dash platform development, or sorry, no, it's profile. I always mess that up. Development and platform iOS. So we're going to go iOS first. Now it's going to install Expo Dev Client for us because we didn't bother doing that yet. And now it'll run. Great. So we're going to call this just mapster mbtest.mapster.com. Okay, that's good. Now we are going to log in. Take my own personal profile here. Uh, we'll reuse the certificate. And yes, we want all these devices. That just makes it really easy, although many of those are outdated. <laughs> and we're not going to have push notifications, but we're not going to completely outdo it. Okay, so now we got to wait 10, 15 minutes for this build to happen, and we will be back on the other side. All right, so our build finally completed. So we're going to install this now. So I've turned on screen recording on my device. And we'll see what it's like. We'll open up the camera app, scan that, open in iTunes. It'll ask to install. We do that. We see now it is installing there on the bottom of the screen. That'll take just a moment. And that's installing the equivalent of the Expo app. Again, if you're not used to EAS builds, I've included a really nice link in the description that shows you how to walk through the whole process. Okay, so now we will do Expo Start Dev Client, and that's going to fire up Expo on our machine, because if we open this up, it's just going to be an empty um, like Expo thing. It's waiting to be served the files. So we're waiting for that to load. We've got a new QR code, so I will take a look at that and it will open it inside the app we just installed. First it needs to get permissions to actually connect to our network and then we will be reloading this in just a moment. It just takes a little while for everything to get fired up and building. All right so we've just about built here just getting to 100 percent and there we go our map box map, map box map is there. So now we're free to use any of the methods that we ran into um, in the Mapbox, uh, RN Mapbox docs. Okay, great. So that's iOS. That, in my mind, is the trickier of the two. And next up, we will do Android. So we're going to cancel that, and we're going to do another EAS build, and this time platform Android. And we'll see what options it gives us. So we will use the same Android thing. We're going to generate a new key store, sure, and we'll let this build run. All right, our Expo thing is done for Android. So now let's fire up the Android. So open that up. Here we go. And now we need to install this APK. It will download and then we have to open it up in the right place. Okay, so we actually have to open up our files on our Samsung. So we'll pop that open. We go install. We have to open it through files. It's just a special thing we got to do for Android. Otherwise, the permissions don't fully work. Okay, so now we should have it installed. There it is, Mapster Test Mapbox. And again, we'll go Expo Start Dev Client. And we'll fire that up. And just to check, we open it up. We see the same thing as we saw. Yep, looks good. Okay, and now we're fired up there, so we will open up the camera again to scan this and see what it opens up. Okay, and there we are. You see that when we open up on our Android device, we've got our Mapbox map also working. So that's success. So now we're in a place where we can uh, just totally work with Mapbox across our two devices and hopefully this really walked you through the process so you could get this working without a problem. And now you can just rock out with Mapbox uh, and build very easily using EAS. So thanks so much.